Hello, the purpose of this edition of TannerTube is to show you how to create brochures from scratch. We are not going to be using the brochure template for this assignment. Instead, we're just going to pick up a blank document and we're going to double click on it so that it opens up. Okay, this is our blank document. Uh, I can see my ruler, so if you can't see your ruler, go ahead and say view and then go to ruler. Okay. All right, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to page layout and change our orientation to landscape. Okay, and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that you can see what I'm talking about. We do that because we're going to be folding our brochure into thirds. Each of these is going to be a panel. The next thing we do is we make our margins narrow, half an inch all around. And I'll show you why we do that in a second. The third thing that we do is we go to columns and we say more columns. And we want to set this up so that there is one inch between our columns. Okay? So this space right here between the columns is going to be one inch. And the reason why we do that is because we've got a half an inch on the left. So if we think about a half an inch on the right side of this column, Okay, and then we need a half an inch on the left side of this column. A half and a half is a whole. Same thing for this one. You need a, a half an inch on the right side of that one. And then a half an inch on the left side of this one. That gives you an inch in between there. This way everything is nicely centered. But I'm going to show you how to make it so that you can start typing on any one of the three panels that you want to. And it won't move all of your other information around. To do that, it's pretty simple. You just go breaks, click on column. See how my insertion point moved over to the next column? And then say break, click on column. It's over there. Now because the brochure has a front and a back, I'm going to do this again. Break, column. Now I'm on page two. You can see that down here. And then I'm going to go break, column again. And one more time, break column. Okay, now I've got my two pages of my brochure. Now, as I showed you in class, the cover page or the information for the cover fold is not where you would think it is. Okay, it's actually on the right hand uh, panel of the first page. So for here, you're going to type your name and then um, you're going to put CHS freshman and then you're going to put class of 2017. Now you can go ahead and you can format this. Click on home, make it bold, center, bigger. Okay, you may want to change your name. You're going to type your name in there also, not leave it at your name. That would be kind of silly. There you go. That's a hideous looking font. But you get the idea. I'm going to go down here. And then in here, it's required that you insert some sort of a graphic that, I don't know, says something about who you are. Make sure office.com is checked. And I'm going to pick, oh, a school bus. Okay, and remember to wrap your text, put it in the center of the page. Okay, there's your cover page. Your cover page is done. Okay, now, whatever I put on this page is going to show up on the back panel, the back center panel. So when you flip it over, you would see your name on one side. This is what shows on the other side, okay, because we can't see the inside of the brochure yet. So the first thing first, we need to make sure that we center this text and you're going to type highlights and then um, maybe we'll go left align and I'll show you how to fix this. You just go back and center it like that. Okay, we're going to go left align. We're going to use some bullets or maybe you can use numbers and you know, maybe you're going to talk about the clubs that you're in. Um, you're going to talk about your goals. You talk about sports maybe. 
Okay, these are just samples now, remember. I don't want you copying what I put on mine. Get rid of that bullet. We're going to go ahead and make it bigger. And then this, we never want bullets to be in the center like that. We always want our bullets to be left aligned. All right. Highlights of the year, maybe we want to format this font a little bit different, maybe choose something that's not quite as hideous. And now we can take and we can copy that formatting to this line. All right. So it looks like it's the same font and the same person created the brochure. Okay. All right. Uh, inside this panel, this is going to be about me. And make a bulleted list about yourself. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to use my format painter and I'm going to put it on that so that it matches. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it. Okay, and you could just change that text. Now you see this starts, this first bullet starts down here, this first bullet starts up here. That's not really that big of a deal, but you can spread this stuff out by going here and changing your spacing. And then you can add another picture down here. Okay, you don't want to go all the way to the bottom like this because it's not going to print if it's all the way on the bottom. So that finishes the first page. Now you're on the inside. This is when you flip your brochure over. You're on the inside. And I, wa I want you to put your first trimester and your second trimester and your third trimester. And we're going to hit enter. All right, and you're going to continue to fill this list out. Then you can adjust your spacing if you want to to make it take up more room. You need to copy your uh, formatting. And add some more graphics down here. Uh, this is the one assignment that you are not required to use a footer for, so don't make a footer. When you are done with this, we are going to print it. We'll print one side, and then we'll print the other side on the same piece of paper. We'll fold it up nice and pretty, and you'll turn that in, and that will be your assignment.